people, welcome to the gas and gas. We're glad you passed by. You get the right time, we got an all time high. Bumble side, joys, and jumps, don't mind. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell the walls, we are together. Yes. Oh, hello. It's a good thing I wasn't nude. Come on in. Welcome to my humble abode. Do you know who says that? Who? Yeah. Five dollars if you can guess. I don't know. Lara Croft Tomb Raider oh, on one of her PCs. Oh, you're using that again. Yes, I am. Okay. I quizzed you the other day. Yeah. This is our beautiful Airbnb. We are going to stay a while. Oh, nice. Hold on, let me zoom in with my new zoom in feature. Whoa. We have Whoa. a We have a fireplace. Okay. okay. Oh. You know what we're gonna do in front of that fireplace? We're gonna watch TV because there's a TV right there. I was gonna say nothing because it's fing hot. <laughs> Okay, we are in Sonoy, Georgia, where The Walking Dead was filmed and a bunch of other things were filmed very close to Atlanta. We're gonna explore Atlanta, we're gonna explore Sonoy. So excited, but I'm even more excited about this house. Honestly, I wanna just like hang out here. Like, do we have to go anywhere? Because I uh, love yeah, this. Yeah, we do. While I show you around my humble abode, I'm gonna talk to you guys about something that has been circulating the internet, like a lot. So apparently, there has been a lot of rumors about WonderCon and a lot of people are sharing the same information. A lot of people were complaining about the timing of the lines, but of course, when you go to any con, the Funko line sucks. Here, let's go take a look at a bedroom or something. Whoa. Whoa, this is nice. Look at this. Oh, look. oh Wi Fi is on the floor. Okay. Yeah. That's that fan does not fan. sound good. Yeah, let's I get think, out of here. Yeah. It's freaking me out. We might, we might be in trouble. So. Oh, God. Lots of bad words, lots of cursing. Look, we have plenty of f***ing towels. Stop using the F I word. need to stop cursing because Chris has yes. to edit all this. Yes. Plenty of towels. Yes, of course. Wow. Funko Booth, complete S-H-I-T show. Chris Thank told you. me to stop cursing because he's got to edit. Thank you. Supposedly, a lot of people are saying that there were Hollywood employees working the booth, which I don't know, I wasn't there. I've been, well, not here. We've been in Nashville. And we do not know any Funko Hollywood employees because we've never been there. No, I only know one. We know one because, because we got bribed about. once. We, we got bribed, bribed once. Yeah, we did get bribed. Well, we got, he tried to bribe us, but I said, no thanks. I can get my own thing. I ain't broke. By the way, did you put that Chester Cheetah chase in a, like a pop, pop protector or? Pop shield on no, I sold it on whatnot. Oh, you did? Oh, yes. Good. Okay. Got good. it for free. Sold it for a huge profit. Excellent, Heather. Oh, uh, back to the video. Did you put in a pop shield armor from sevenboxpop.com? Of course I did. Okay, Heather. Okay. Got to protect those whatnot drops. Lots of craziness happening. We mentioned it very briefly in our last video, but again, weren't there. Can't really speak on it. But it's a little bit weird when you're hearing the same stuff from a lot of people. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. However, here's where you guys come in because I want to know what you think. So you hear all these rumors in comments and posts on Facebook and Instagram, YouTube, wherever. Twitter too. I'm not really good at tweeting. But Me either. I'm not either. I seen a couple screenshots on Twitter. I don't know nothing about it. All right, Heather, come on. Okay, okay. You don't know what you're going to say, do you? You look so confused. I am so confused. You have no idea what you're about I'm to say. I'm so confused. You asked something from them. Oh, yes. Here's where you come in. <laughs> so, you're reading all this stuff, okay? All this drama, all these busy bees buzzing, saying, well, so-and-so bought a million of these limited edition pieces, and so-and-so was allowed through the back door of the Funko booth. Back door, Heather. The back door. How? I got information from someone that Chris and I do trust, we do know, 
that supposedly one of the people being accused of these things, again, I'm not here to name names because I don't think that that's right to do, but one of the people being accused of getting so many of these things apparently was not doing anything shady. <gasps> oh my God. And here's our trip to Plastic Empire today. We'll be right back. We are here at Plastic Empire to take a look at their C2E2 and Megacon exclusives. I'm so excited to see what they're gonna have. We're at Plastic Empire. We're gonna take a look at the C2E2 exclusives and Megacon exclusives. They will be available at both conventions. We have this Kong here. Let's start off with him. He's a purple and blue and pink crowned Kong. And of course he has a signature butt out back there. I love that. That's my favorite part. This is a really great looking Kong. I love the pink crown specifically. Me too. I think it like does something extra for this figure. It's something about the aesthetic of it. I love that one. There are two handmade by robot figures here. We have an Elvira. There's only 666 of them. I like that. Again, aesthetic. I love when there's an aesthetic like that. Okay, do you like the 666 or do you like the boobies more? That's uh, the boobs, of course. Um, so 666, it's a metallic Elvira. You get that Plastic Empire sticker on there. That's pretty badass. Then there's also this Bill Mosley Chop Top yeah, from we'll Texas. Yeah, from Texas Chain, Chainsaw Massacre 2. Classic Empire sticker. Only 240. Oh my so God. these are super, super limited figures here. Wow. I really like the 666. I'm not a huge Elvira fan, but I really love this figure. That's a great figure. It's beautiful. Then there's a dumpster fire. And Heather is not that big of a fan of this one, but I am. He's really cool looking. And there's a lot of really great box art here. A bunch of different graffiti. They it have says, amazing boxes. Goodbye forever on the back there. But this figure itself is really neat looking. You got like a pig's face, a skull. There's a, a tombstone here with a big smiley face on it. Looks like some booze with some fire, maybe like a Molotov cocktail. Skull. 100% soft is on there, tagged, middle finger, and my favorite is the poop with the toilet paper on the back. That's amazing. That's yeah, amazing, right? Yeah, so all these will be available at Megacon, which is gonna be in Florida, and C2E2 in Chicago. So if you wanna get these guys, that's where you're gonna to have to go. You'll have your chance to get all four of them, and they're all amazing, and you need to buy all of them, and just like show them off to all your friends. Go on Instagram and tag them, and. Handmade by Robots, by the way, is amazing. I love Handmade by Robots. Me too. Um, Dumpster Fire, of course, and Kong. Come on, with the butt. Are you How could you say no? Come on, I mean, be serious, okay? You need to have a Kong butt in your life. We all do. Specifically because it has a butt window on the back. Yeah, the even box. if you're in box, Come you, on. Can, you can admire the butt. Plastic Empire exclusives, make sure you pick yours up. C2E2 and make a con. Really quick question for you. Where sure. can I pick up a sunglass tan line like you have? <laughs> you mean my popping off toys sunglass tan line? Is that the yeah. one you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's oh, for yeah. me standing in the sun all day. Yeah, great. Thanks for pointing that out, Heather. Yeah. I appreciate it. All right, Ninjitos. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> This is Milton from Ninjitos. How you doing? And we want to show you a couple of these Ninjitos figures. One is a custom that's really cool. And, yes. and the other one is, you actually have this on your website right now? Yes. Ninjitos are amazing. And I love them so much because they have a removable mask and they're magnetic. And this one actually is available on the website right now. Which figure is this, Milton? So this one's Ojito. He's actually the leader of all the Ninjitos. He's the last one to be released. There's only a limited of 100 and there's only a handful of them left on the website. So get him while you 
still can. I uh, believe there's another one that's still available, Shinjito. Wow. Let me show you here in the box. It's a little red guy right here. Oh, he's awesome. I think these are the only two left. The other ones are sold out, and obviously the blank sold out instantly already for all the customizers. Yeah. Wow. yeah. But yeah. This and, figure is fantastic. Ninjitos.com. Check out all of the social medias, whichever one you'd like. If you go over to ninjitos.com right now, you can actually buy this guy. You could buy the red guy as well. Highly recommend these figures. They are amazing. And I feel like that you, the people who like Mischief Toys, like Kong, like Abominable Toys, you need this guy next to all of your other figures. He's going to spice it up with a little, do we call it karate, kung fu? A uh, little ninja style. A little ninja style, a little ninjito style. You yes. need this guy. And by the way, the mess, you can kind of train transfer them back yes. and forth between figures. So here's a little cool. This was actually one of the blank ones that got customized by an artist named Smish BB. It's got that butt. I and she has butt. a nice like little leather whip, real leather by the way. Wow. And with a magnetic mask. So this is what you can do with blank ones. So you can customize them and Alex, like you said, Look at that. You can always do it well with that. Them. There's so many cool things you can do with this figure with all different sorts of masks. You can swap them. We have some glow in the dark masks at home from New York Comic Con. Yes. So I like to take my glow in the dark mask and put it on some of my random figures from time to time on my Ninjitos. These guys are freaking amazing. Check out Ninjitos.com. Oh, you're back. I'm just in a different bedroom. I'm in bedroom number two of our amazing Airbnb. What had happened was, supposedly, and this is confirmed by a very, very good friend of mine who has worked the Funko booth numerous times, that towards the end of the day, you are allowed to purchase more as long as there is stock available. There's a bathroom behind you. Open the door so we can take a look at the bathroom. Well, at least the van works. Hey, look, it's me! It's me, too! And the shower. Oh, it's in the shower. I might have to work on that shower later. Okay, come on. I said work on it like I'm gonna work on the shower. Okay, anyway, what were you saying? So, you're about to trip. I'm not gonna trip. I'm I'm I saw the bag, Heather. Apparently, the later the day goes, as long as there's stock around, you're able to purchase more at the Funko booth because they have an allotment for each day. So each day you go in, they have some pops everywhere, but then towards the end of the day, if things aren't quite selling out as fast as they want them to, they're like, here, just take everything. So apparently at the time of day that this particular person went, the limit was four per person. And that person had four or five people with them, so they were able to get the max amount of pops. You mean they weren't treated like kings and queens? They were... I don't know, but apparently I have heard that rules were being followed. So oh. that is just one person's account. So hold on, you're telling me this is a Funko thing and not a Flipper thing? Yep. Okay, isn't that what I said in the other video? Yes it is. I although, said Funko is the one. Although, here. again, still don't really like the Flipper thing. No. But I get it, I get it. Yeah. I, under, I understand what They're you're taking doing. part of a situation that um, was granted to them. They're allowed to buy as many as they want, so yes, they, they bought as many as they want. And they can sell them for as much as they want, and guess what? The longer that people keep paying those prices, the longer they're gonna do it. Well, so, the only thing I was saying is that I was upset that some people stood in line and they weren't able to get the things that they wanted. Yes. So all those people behind them, now although Funko made the rules, it just sucks that people bought up what was there and others couldn't get it. That's yes. the problem I have. Flipping is something you're never gonna get rid of. No, But when people not. are staying in line for a really long time and they're not given, or they're not given the same opportunity, that really sucks. When things sell out in a way like that, they're selling four per person, five per person, or whatever. Yeah, the That's next the day. That, that's the part that really bumps me out. Yeah, me too. But anyway, take a look at our frat boy fridge. We have your essentials, your whole food pyramid. So we have water, we have Coke Zero, and we have beer. This is really cool because when you're on vacation in hotel ones, Mm, not so much. Don't really trust it. Oh my god. Washer and dryer. Oh my god. I cannot tell you how excited I am about this. Not, I mean, I packed more than enough, but like, I got my favorite things that I wear. You know yeah. what I mean? Right, sure. Like my really good, comfortable pants, good, comfy socks. And here is where we're staying, and we haven't quite set it up because we literally just walked through the door, 
and um, threw a hoodie on the on the bed and our pillows from home. Yeah. So there's that and walk-in closet as well. Yes, it's a beautiful walk-in closet. I got my shoes in there. And we have a master bath. Whoa, a big mirror back there? I thought that was a window earlier. You know what I'm gonna do? I can see you right now from behind also in the other mirror. Isn't it great? It's weird. Isn't it great? I have no idea. You did it again! Freaking great! And look, a walk-in shower that I'll be using tomorrow morning. I like it. The only thing I don't like is that the floor's coming up. It's really weird, but that's fine. So Heather, what's the whole point of this video other than showing where we're staying? Because this is the last room. Showing where we're staying, talking about uh, some rumors that have been spread that may or may not be true. So I want to know what you guys think. Um, your experiences at WonderCon, a lot of people were saying the main complaint, which is with the Funko line and of course them selling out of things that they wanted because who wouldn't be upset about that? You know, you spend money to go to a con, whatever, and then all of a sudden you're waiting in line for like four hours right. and you don't get the piece you want. Exactly. So uh, the point is, is that flippers don't get mad at us and don't attack us because that's typically what happens in scenarios like this. All we're saying is that uh, there were a lot of really crazy things happening at WonderCon and we're just talking about it. So and guess no what? need to get upset or, or whine to us. Why would they whine to us? Because I was just defending someone. Thank me. Oh, you defended a flipper. Yeah. Is what you're telling me. Oh my God, Heather. Yeah, I said. You've come full what, circle as a channel. What's, uh, what's been said may, may or may not be true. Oh my God, Heather. So what they should be doing is kissing my feet. Oh, I'm in weird socks because I didn't want anyone to get a glimpse of my feet because a lot of people really seem to have that fetish and mm, I, left my, I left my socks on. All right, very good. Well, that was our little tour and our little um, rant or Heather's little rant about all things uh, Wonder, well, some things WonderCon, flipper things WonderCon. <laughs> um, we want you guys to know to check out Poppin' Off Toys and use the promo code GASTOCAST to get 10% off. If you're a patron, you actually get uh, patron level four, you get 15% off. So make sure you check out poppinofftoys.com. Buy all your stuff there. They got some really cool stuff. Uh, seven bucks a pop, buy yourself some pop shield armors and all sorts of cool stuff there as well. And we talked about Ninjitos in this video. Ninjitos are amazing. Everybody needs to know about them. Go check out ninjitos.com and buy yours today. There's a couple figures up right now that you can purchase. And I just wanted to note that you should probably hit the like button hit that little bell, that way you know anytime we go live or post new content like this right here, and hit that subscribe button and stay a while. Oh my God. All right, that's it guys. Remember as always, we are together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.